I think. Okay, here uh, we're here with Mumba Boats uh, and Todd. What do we got looking on right here? Uh, this is the Outback V. This is one of the most popular uh, selling Mumba boats that we offer um, in a V-drive configuration, perfect for wakeboarding, great for skiing, and most families are attracted by the, the value that it presents. And what kind of value is that? <clears throat> this one's about $48,000 on the trailer the way it sits here at the show. Okay. And what kind of horsepower does this uh, uh, boat have? Yeah, Mumba's come standard with a fuel-injected uh, 325 horsepower yeah. uh, Inmar engine. Uh -huh. um, it can be upgraded to a 340 horsepower if you're going to be using the boat with lots of ballast. Yeah. Uh, most of our Moomba boats uh, come standard also with towers, yeah. uh, board racks, speakers, and bimini covers. Um, that's the most common way that families like to outfit them for the summer. Yeah, and that's all standard? All, uh, not all standard, but no. most commonly chosen by most, people. Most commonly. Yep. Yeah, How Moomba. the sound system you got in here? Yeah, all, all boats come standard with a sound system, usually with at least uh, six, speakers. six speakers. And then you can okay. tailor it with uh, up to 12 speakers, subwoofers, three amplifiers, tower speakers, tower lights. Um, and again, it's just creating that experience in the water that everyone looks for. And the, and the rack itself, excuse me, I don't know the lingo, but that, that rack actually drops down, right, for yep. storage purposes? All of the towers do have, uh, yep, all the wakeboard towers, yep. all the towers do have a, a way to fold down um, for storage, for boathouse, for boat lifts, for, for garages, for carports. Um, so it's very common that they do fold down, and as, as the towers evolve, they're becoming more and more simple to operate. They're done. And how about, what's this one? Yeah, this is the Moomba LSV, which is um, um, Moomba's full-on wakeboard boat that presents wakes as uh, competitive as someone would desire them to be. So okay. big, meaty wakes, uh, again, 325 horsepower, upgradable to the 340. Um, three ballast bags, this boat can hold up to 1,450 pounds of water. <laughs> so it can displace a lot of water in the lake yep. to make a big wake. Very nice, very good looking lines, nice color on it. Yeah. Yeah, this is one of the first boats that we sold at the show this year, so on the first day actually, so it didn't last long. Well, look at there, I just saw the sign right there. Yeah. I'm sold. That's right, that's right. Good stuff. Yeah. Let's move down and have a look at some of the other Moombas. Sure. And we have here? This is the uh, Outback, and this okay. is the only boat in our lineup now that still uh, can be purchased with a direct drive engine. And okay. traditionally, ski boats were constructed with the engine in the middle providing a better balance port and smaller wakes. And with the evolution of uh, wakeboarding and also families wanting more seating area, the direct drive inboard boat has uh, slowly declined in popularity. Okay. But there are still some families who are more uh, ski purists or barefoot purists that feel that inboard direct drive boats perform um, more suited to their water sports mm -hmm. participation. So we still offer this boat. It's a great seller. This boat is $38,000. So having the engine there in the middle kind of changes the center of balance of boat. Yeah, it sure does. Yeah. And uh, traditionally all ski and, and wakeboard boats um, were mid-engine boats. And then as uh, wakeboarding evolved and people wanted bigger wakes and, and more uh, glamorous seating areas, the engine was moved to the back with a V-drive transmission mm -hmm. to create more space. But this is still a great selling boat. Um, like I said, it's the only boat in our lineup now that has a mid-engine. I see. Mm -hmm. And how about...